Welcome everyone to the uh, awesome batch talk by the awesome batch team. Give it up for Anne Jan, Sebas, but also don't forget Tom, Rensen and Bas. And but more. Cool. Well, um, welcome. Uh, uh, this is, um, well, the working title has been set before we even, uh, uh, well, started really working hard on it. Yeah, <laughs> so the, 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 this, this title uh, suits everything. How we failed at getting you a badge and, st and st somehow still, su still succeeded. And uh, let's, let's go uh, by looking back at our previous uh, little project. Yeah. Well, we had the SHA 2017 event. We built over 4,000 badges, uh, 2,000 plus activated at the camp. People made more than 256 apps during the event and a lot more later. Is that me or you? I don't know. That's probably all the flamethrowers. Flamethrowers interrupting our sound, nice. Um, anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, lots of people made interesting apps uh, on Hatchery, the, the batch uh, app store, during uh, Hacker uh, SHA 2017. And afterwards, lots more. Uh, we did some major OTA releases, uh, mostly uh, with work from Bas van Sisse, uh, on stuff like uh, font anti-aliasing and just name a few. That was last year during Hacker Hotel, I guess, I remember correctly. Um, and we're s we were still working on that batch. So when there was the idea to do something for Hacker Hotel, it was more than natural to just continue with uh, yeah. the basis we set. Yeah, and the, the, the fun thing is these, um, well, it's <laughs> wow, <laughs> I, I do love the sound effects. Um, the, the fun thing is the, these badges ended up, uh, well, everywhere in the Netherlands and in, in some German hackerspaces as well. Uh, 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 nearly all of the broken, well, all of the broken boards or uh, boards we had a problem with diagnosing uh, were sent out in, in big ba uh, ESD bags to... Uh, well, nearly every hackerspace had, uh, ha had participated in SHA 2017. So badges ended up in hackerspaces on, on walls in projects. There's uh, the, the, the smart blockchain in Hack42. There's uh, <laughs> there is, uh, uh, an art gallery at RefSpace. There is a, uh, there's a weather display at Hackalot. Uh, everything using these uh, these little devices we built. Um, ah, wacht nog even, joh. There, uh, there has been a SHA badge uh, been used to do an Everest, Mount Everest climb. Well, a simulated one in a, in a, in a flat, um, but someone took it up a few, uh, uh, a few kilometers of stairs uh, and measured his heart rate and everything. It ha uh, a SHA badge has been in an MRI scanner <laughs> uh, to test out the, the internal, uh, the, 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 the ESP32 has a, a hull, hull effect sensor yeah. and it's, um, a little bit unsensitive to actual magnets, so uh, uh, he's uh, give us a wave, roosted. <laughs> so um, he <laughs> he had an internship uh, testing a very very high power uh, seven Tesla MRI scanner and uh, uh, worked with uh, one of the uh, people at Espresso to test. Uh, whether the sensor would actually trigger uh, in, a, in, in a proper <laughs> magnetic field. So a SHA badge has been proper scanned magnetic and, it <laughs> and it's still working. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Uh, yeah, I think so. But uh, to talk to Thomas if uh, after the uh, presentation, he'll he'll fill you in. Uh, I think this is yours. Uh. Yeah. So after uh, after SHA 2017 and uh, during the build up towards uh, the Hacker Hotel, uh, we had an interesting meeting with the old uh, batch team and some new people who were interested or <laughs> volunteered. And we kind of decided that we would like to uh, prolong the life of, of the awesome SHA badge and do that in a different way. So one of the things is we just took a new domain, bitmegalomanic, badge.team. And um, during last uh, congress, uh, Renze was uh, talking with Clement and some other people uh, for Disobey in Finland. They had an event, there was a badge. <coughs> But the software ecosystem was a bit lacking, so uh, with, with the help of Renze, they ported <coughs> the SHA batch firmware uh, to their badge and made it possible for uh, apps to be run on there and, and have the fun uh, ecosystem that we have. So currently there are over 6,350 uh, badges running uh, on our code base, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. 
and we would like to support these badges for a long time after, and we'll get back to that in a bit. Yeah, so this edition, uh, we have an, uh, a partially uh, the old crew uh, and some new uh, suspects back on the team. So, Anne Jan, uh, Renze, where are you? Give us a wave here <laughs> at the front, sorry. That always happens here. Uh, Bas van Sisseren on software. Back uh, again for low level software. Yeah. Uh, Tom for our hardware design. So the board you're holding is his uh, design. Uh, I'm back and we also recruited uh, Mendel for uh, some drivers. And, and usable uh, event apps like yeah. the, the program app. Yeah, the so the event, event schedule. schedule. Um, by the way, if I may. Also, a part of the design <coughs> with uh, Tim Weyers. Oh, here. yeah. Yo, okay. in the Tim, yeah. give us a wave. <laughs> so, the, 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 so the artwork uh, was done by Tim. Uh, funny thing about the artwork, we have uh, all our st stuff, including the PCB designs, we have that in GitHub. And uh, right after we sent our badges off to uh, PCB way to be <coughs> made, uh, we got an interesting issue on the PCB design that the uh, nice shadowy lines under the uh, Hacker Hotel logo are not within spec. <laughs> from, from a random person just looking at the badge <laughs> design and going like, this is not correct. <laughs> so yeah, that it, it, it may be an error, <laughs> please check. Yes, that's by design. It's yeah, design. Yeah. So we designed it. <laughs> ah, cool. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, thank you uh, thank, for that. Thanks <laughs> for, the, for the notification. Yeah. We had but he made up for it, though. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> so, what's what's there? The ESP32 is back. I need to be a little bit closer to your screen. Um, ESP32 is back. Uh, this time we got the ESP Rover. Last time we had the Vroom. Now we have the Rover. And the difference is the Rover has uh, a megaton of RAM attached to it. We have 8 megabytes of uh, pseudo-static RAM, if I'm correct, pronouncing yes. it correctly. Uh, in two banks of four megabytes, so a lot more memory to play around with, which is handy with MicroPython. Uh, mm. The NPR121 touch chip is back. Um, we have the same great e-ink display and the same great battery. Why? Because we had a few left over from SHA, so we uh, got those do donated by SHA 2017, by IFCAT, and uh, uh, saved a lot of cost on that. Mm -hmm. uh, for your information, uh, uh, an e-ink display costs about five euros, so it's... Uh, it's it's a great donation. Um, then same with the battery. Same with the battery, yeah. Uh, the audio we added to it, and uh, who has who has tried it already? We, who has played the audio? Okay, a few few more need to try it because it's uh, <laughs> it's it's awesome quality. And uh, even with the terrible twenty two cent uh, headphones, uh, they're not terrible for twenty two cents actually. No, they're they're, <laughs> they're a great value for money. <laughs> they make audio. Yeah, um, we added uh, a Grove connector for the Seed uh, Studio platform, which uh, Seed sponsored. Um, we added a shitty add-on connector because uh, Brian Benchoff uh, designed it, and it's it's basically on every modern batch. This is actually the, the the version one. There is a version two with some more pins or whatever, but this still works for next time. Uh, and also infrared, which is kind of complicated. It sort of works. <laughs> 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 and we'll get back to that as well <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> and of course, twice the PCB size, because design. Yeah. Size does matter. Size does matter. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, who, has seen, who has seen the SHA badge talk at SHA 2017 or somewhere after that? Okay, so uh, if you recall, uh, our team lead then, uh, Nick Blankers, uh, uh, sh showed his uh, chain of emails to our uh, manufacturer, PCBWay, um, I'll, s I'll skip that screenshot, but this is the one of the, the few ones I had uh, some uh, fun with. It, it, these are two issues. Oh, another was, uh, hi Sebastian, I'm sorry. And then I was, oh sh... It, we're out it was very early in the morning that it was very early in the morning. This you, email. Have to, you have to know the time difference. Uh, all PCB way emails come to me before 7 a.m. So very, very urgent. Hi Sebastian, I'm very sorry. The factory is out of stickers. <laughs> So <laughs> unfortunately, there's no PCB way sticker in the package now. So that that happened. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, just leave. Um, yeah, yeah, so leave uh, so two uh, issues we had early on during manuf uh, during manufacture. Um, I ordered a USB serial chip, uh, the PC uh, the Scilabs uh, 2104, 2104, because I thought these are they have the same pinout as the 
the ones we had on the Shah badge, but uh, do not have the issue we have with the fake ones. So the fake ones also work properly. Well, if you read data sheets, this single model comes in 24 pins instead of the 28 pins we need. So <laughs> if you'll notice, they kind of nicely laid it out for us that you can just see the amount of pins we had. Uh, that, was a, that, that was an error on my part. <laughs> so um, then our component supplier uh, quickly purchased and shipped out on the same day the, the proper part that you have on your batch today. He's a hero <laughs> because Chinese New Year was already looming. A uh, few, few days away, literally. We had about a week to go till the factory closed. Um, and then uh, we also got an issue. I, hey, the audio connector doesn't line up properly. I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, can, can you, can't you just solder it in place? I, I, I see some overlap that should just work. We'll get back to that later, yeah. because of <laughs> <laughs> there's more to this story. Why, there's why a it's reason for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, it's always a resistor. <laughs> so last time we had to add in a, uh, 2,000 resistors uh, for the 200 fake uh, USB serials. This time we had to remove 300 of them, which is easier. So that's uh, because... Well, uh, <laughs> when we tried to flash the first uh, badges that came out of the factory, we had a slight issue. It wouldn't even erase. So without erasing or flashing, there is no firmware on there, and without firmware, there is yeah, well, a <laughs> very boring uh, badge. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's still nice artwork, but it's a bit not cost-effective. Yeah, the resistor w we we f quickly found out um, it wasn't in the normal data sheet of Espressif that the um, pin we were using was used to set the voltage for the flash RAM uh, ROM, and it was in the errata data though. But well, <laughs> for some reason, we didn't really check that when we were laying out the infrared part. So the pull-up resistor uh, for the uh, infrared uh, became an issue because it, well, it just wouldn't flash. The yeah, flash ro uh, RAM ROM would be at 1.8 uh, volts instead of 3.3 volts, and it just doesn't work that way. So that was some work. Yeah, but in the end, uh, some, boards, <laughs> uh, some boards came in and... Uh, uh, I had to start design a process to actually go from bare boards or from assembled boards to the kit you c you got here at your entrance. Um, so this is uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is me doing process diagrams because we have already done this uh, two years ago um, and setting up uh, ref space in a nice panoramic shot uh, with all the stations. The in the center you see a nice soldering uh, station, which <coughs> is uh, because all the resistors were already removed a week earlier. Uh, it's just for adding some extra solder to the audio jack, so it won't fall off when you insert the shitty uh, earbuds. Yeah. So um, what's happening here? Uh, top left was depanelizing. It came. Uh, the boards came in panels of two. Uh, oh, so, oh, sorry, unpacking and depanelizing. Uh, top right, uh, uh, soldering the audio jack. Uh, bottom left, uh, mounting a display. Um, bottom right, uh, adding more stuff to the to the batch kit because we all had already made uh, the batch kits. Um, but then we got in some more stickers and some other things. I can't even remember. It's mainly stickers that we added in that process. Oh, that's. Uh, and this was um, before that when we were <coughs> making the batch kit. So a bag, the flyer, uh, the headphones, the battery, the, the battery. lanyard, Velcro, yeah. buzzer, a, yeah. you name it. And for those who are considering doing badges and considering doing sweatshops uh, and inviting volunteers to do these, uh, we use the word sweatshops here every time, and it's uh, <laughs> everybody just gets it because it, it is uh, it is a sweaty job and it's uh, it's fun. Think of ergonomics. Think of having your people standing up for one or two or three hours straight. Uh, have how how far can they reach and uh, and will they hurt after 300 or after 4,750 boards? Also, think of parallelizability and 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 chaining. How to to set up your uh, sweatshop because people doing complicated jobs or two or three different um, yeah manual steps doesn't work because then things get forgotten things go in the wrong order make everybody just do one single single simple task and then if they get bored with that task go to another task but not do yeah. different things yeah. at the same yeah. time packing the packing these bags was actually the one of the most complicated ones because